Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. First of all, before we get into today's book, I post new book reviews every single day. So if you're looking for some reading inspiration for the summer months, if you just like following book reviews, if you like hearing uh, people's opinions on a wide variety of books, um, feel free to stick around. Now let's talk about today's book. Today's book is Math Matters, The Hidden Calculations of Everyday Life by Chris Waring. This is what the book looks like, checked it out from my library and gave it a read. Now, before we dive too much into the book, I kind of wanted to give some background on where I come from when discussing this book, and that is a little bit about math in general. So I know a lot of people dislike math intensely. I personally think math has a bit of a reputation problem. A lot of people get through math and they just, that's what they do. They get through it. It's something they have to do in their um, required education for whatever country they live in. They have to do a little bit of math. They get out and they kind of feel like they don't really understand math. They don't really know why they had to learn so much of it. They don't really understand how it's applied to daily life. In fact, one of the big things that people said, at least in the classrooms that I had when I was in my K through 12 education was, when are we ever going to use this? I'm always going to have a calculator with me. So, I feel like there's a little bit of a reputation problem in which math is becomes this a thing because in my opinion a lot of the times it is poorly taught in that early education experience um it becomes this thing that you just memorize you grind through you get the required grade and it's one of the few subjects that i feel like it's okay to universally hate on and th almost brag about how poorly you did now this is not to put myself as being better than any of those people i actually hated math until about i was 16 years old and i took my algebra 2 class and that's when things finally started to make sense but things made sense to me because i had a good teacher i had a teacher that clicked with my learning style and that's what made the difference up to that point math was a thing that i just had to do and i just had to memorize and i just had to figure out in which order I needed to arrange the symbols without really understanding how any of this applied to the real world to just get through it and get it done. And actually, after I had a teacher, after I had that teacher for Algebra 2, I had another teacher for my pre-calculus and calculus class in college, math started to make sense. Just having, by virtue of having a good teacher, I started to enjoy math. Now, I'm not saying everyone who has a good teacher will wind up enjoying math. There's definitely people who are not going to like math, no matter what kind of teacher they have. But I feel like math in the broader sense of society has become this topic that you're allowed to hate. There's this prevailing narrative that no one's good at it or only a select few chosen group of um, people are good at math and those are the math people. And you're just, it's something you're gonna have to grind through. It's something to fear. It's something that you're not gonna be good at. So just get through it and then put it in the rear view mirror without really understanding it. So with all that in mind, um, and also in mind that after having a good math teacher or two in high school, it totally changed the outlook of my math, um, my outlook on math, and I wound up getting a degree in mathematics in college. Let's discuss the book Math Matters. So if online is to be believed, the internet is to be believed, Chris Waring is a math teacher, and I really appreciate teachers, authors who take math and try to make it accessible to a group of people who probably had a bad experience with math. I feel like more people than not disliked their math experience and weren't really, um, weren't really having an enjoyable time in math class. I'm going to hazard that guess there. So I really appreciate it when authors write books like this, which try to bring math and um, its application in the real life to the general public. Now, something that we need to re keep in mind when reading a book like this is if you're not, you're not going to read a book like this and master math. You're not going to read a book like this and fill in all the gaps of your education, um, become passionate about math, totally have a firm grasp on um, everything algebra through calculus, totally understand how math applies to the day-to-day -day world. That's not the purpose of a book like this. Oops, wrong way. I feel like the purpose of a book like this is to read it and come away a little bit more knowledgeable, but more importantly, to come away a little bit more curious about mathematics in the day-to-day -day world and to have give you the springboard to go read and research or just look up or just to think about math a little bit differently. This is designed to make you curious. And as a result of making you curious, it's designed to just propel your sense of education with yourself. I feel like education should be something that you take into your own hands as an adult. And I feel like when you have a book like this, it kind of gives a springboard to people who didn't have a good experience with math as a kid to kind of maybe explore that topic as an adult, which is what this does. Math Matters breaks down the mathematics well before it even starts going into mathematics we do have an introduction section which i feel like is really good a lot of the times if you have been out of school for 10 20 30 years you may have forgotten a lot of the basic math that you did learn when you were in your required education phase of life so this book goes over the basic of the basics just some basic things that you should understand before reading this book you can skip it if maybe you're a little bit more comfortable with math but i feel like this introduction section is something that i really enjoyed because 
The author is saying, hey, I understand you might not be familiar with some of these concepts, so here are the concepts in advance. Um, so we have this introduction section. The book is then broken up into your daily life. So we have like rise and shine, or actually let me get to the beginning section so I can read these. We have rise and shine, on the move, all in a day's work, retail therapy, relax, and bedtime. And it just takes math and it breaks it down into um, like how math can be applied to different daily situations as if you were going through your day. So if you are waking up, if you're commuting to work, if you're at work, if you're doing your shopping retail therapy after work, if you're relaxing, and then as you get ready to go to bed. So I think that breaking it up in that section kind of makes it applicable as you go through the day. Of course, this is not getting into the nitty gritty details of math, but it does just provide you with some some something to kind of pique the interest, something to get you thinking. For example, we have phantom traffic jams, how traffic jams can develop when there's not like a crash or an obstacle in the road. We have things like um, maximizing profit. How can you maximize your profit of a factory? How to pick the ideal ca candidate at work using math. Um, some of it does veer, in my opinion, a little bit more into physics. So like listening to music. Um, how many hours of sunlight you're gonna get in a day because a lot of the areas, um, well, most areas on earth, it fluctuates throughout the year. In the summer, you get a lot more. In the winter, you get a lot less. At least that's where it is. Where, that, that's how it is where I live. On um, the effects of heat from a hot bath on your body um, and sleep cycles. So I feel like setting it up in that manner makes it easy to apply to your daily life. And I really enjoyed that. And I feel like it was, yeah, really, really well done. If you're looking for something that can just get you thinking about math, put you back in the mindset of math, but takes it very easy, isn't assuming you understand it or remember everything from your high school years. This is kind of the perfect book for you. It kind of applies it to a pattern or a um, routine that you're already familiar with, your day-to-day -day life. It keeps things simple, short. It's only, let's see, like 200 pages, not even like 170 pages. So you're really working with the bare basics. Um, it's not too deep, it's, it's like a springboard. The author is saying, here's some information, here's some ways that math applies, and it leaves it up to you to determine how much further you wanna take your independent math education outside of school. I like this book, I think it's the kind of book that we need more of and that I enjoy reading and reviewing despite having a little bit more of a math background. I really like the fact that authors are putting these books out there and they're accessible for the public to read. So if this anything that I said in this review sounds interesting to you, then maybe check out Math Matters by Chris Waring. If you have any thoughts, comments, any other books you think I should read, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.